all right welcome everybody in this lesson we're gonna talk about how to build um, your one Python project for multiple operating systems normally Py, Py PI is set up for that you just build your app I mean you structure it like it's in I mean that's how you normally structure your Py PI projects and then you have a setup dot Py that actually says operating system always independent that means it's for all operating systems or normally if you if you want to be specific to one particular operating system you can just put it it will be here okay so normally this is the structure and normally you're good to go with this okay so just your setup the pi and then your file contains your pi files all right so i just have one the init dot pi just contains hello world normally you you have to have the init dot pi inside your um your folder to make it a, a pi package and then you have other pies over there but this is a very tiny project and that will be all and then you build it normally this works for uh, uh, cross platform but sometimes you have some kind of specific code in there as in this case I have uh, specific line of stuff in there they don't work on any other uh, stuff and they may not be <clears throat> sorry they may not be a specific Python code as I've done here but they may be binaries uh, in the case of Windows, we have the ESEs. Okay, so if I were to go into the specific window, uh, you know, we could have binaries there for only Windows. And putting that on PyPI for someone to download will make the download file size for that person very big. And, and, and it will make the download file size for just people that are not on Windows because then we also have Linux specific stuff on it. And so, so it will make it really, uh, a really big file uh, for everybody and so you might want to create three to four different uh, the three files all right so the WHL files for everybody so one for Windows printed two one for uh, AMD 64 and, and, and one for you know and one for Mac one for Linux so that each and everybody can download on, 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 on its own and I found out that the secret to do that is actually in your setup doc the, the, the pi the operating system classifier can either be missing or you should set it to always independent so if you're going to do that there's going to be one dot real file for 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 each project okay so it, the the operating system classifier should be set to always the independent and then you have those separate files on it so i'm just going to show you how to do it basically i found a secret to actually be in the renaming of them the names of them okay and then you can just build one file and then rename it and upload all of them it's not gonna work uh, it, it, it's not gonna work it's gonna see all of them as the same file so you have to build separate files and then rename them separately so you can see um, I will try to build not a CD change directory <clears throat> I'm changing the change to my folder. I'm sure you know how to do this. And so on uh, my platform, in case I want to build for Win. Normally for this, I would have just done Python. I'm actually in this folder. You can see. I've just done Python setup.py. B dist. I mean as this for the source and then the B dist. And one thing is that you can only have one source for one source package for it and uh, I, have, I have an error in my um, in my setup the pie that means I have an error in all the setup the pies that I have why is it the and, and all these things are junk they were just written up for you to see your setup the pie so now you can see my setup the pie it might take some time to build now you can see we are done and then inside of this folder we have a doc field that actually say none any uh, the wh so we actually have the distro name <coughs> sorry the distro name the distro version and sometimes the build number and this is the pi version or this uh uh uh, uh the site on or the c python version and then we have um, um i think uh this is uh this is the Py version, and this will be the uh, Cyton version or this C Python version. I don't know. And this any actually holds the operating system name. So this any means it can be installed on any. 
but in case of our um our situation we don't want to use any we have we want four different files like i told you 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 in case i want to build for mac all right so i just go i i mean you have your thing set up i don't know how you're gonna arrange it so eventually you have to get this pi.exe and then you're in it and then so that your setup.py will be able to say the name is a pi dot uh, pi easy it's important when you're renaming when you're renaming you cannot rename these ones the uh, distro name and the uh, build version and the python version you can't the only ones you can do are the operating system renaming because then uh, there's some kind of storage in there that stores your record and and all kinds of stuff so if you, if you're changing these things you're gonna be in trouble it's not gonna install okay and so yes when you want to rename you can actually rename this one but then you can duplicate you cannot you cannot so let's in case I want to build for Mac I have to do uh, I mean of course in my situation I have different files for Mac so I have to do it again and uh, and then re rename it as a Mac uh, so I would do for Windows because I want I want to talk about something uh, on Windows we have two win32 and then uh, AMD 64 you cannot build one and then use rename the two and call one uh, win32 and the other AMD system you have to build two it's actually the same file you have not changed anything but you have to build two so let's try on Windows and see so it will be the same procedure for Mac but I just I just want to build because of Windows our oh, now we have been to the we are in the Windows folder sorry so now Python set up the pi as this and the source I talk about sorry I have the same oh my I actually duplicated it just to show you I don't know how you set up yours I'm using github so this one is not github so fine now it's done you can see now it's done I can just go ahead and rename it but I cannot duplicate the two like this and rename it and actually call one uh, you know I'll call this winter two and then go ahead and call this one uh, win AMD 64 all right you cannot do this you only have one file not two files if you want two files you have to build again just like that so that you can have two files so now I have two files I will make the first one and uh, delete and so now this one will be I, I'm sure I'm not confusing you you have to build two times so that you can have uh, I think uh, we have win AMD 64 so that you can have these two files and this is the naming convention for Windows I have the naming convention in a small file here now for Windows this is it win AMD 64 win 32 but for Linux there are a lot more naming conventions to it and the naming convention you have to apply it to the I didn't build for Mac and I built for Linux I didn't build oh, okay the only time I built just to show you the only thing you can change here, I told you, is the any. It will take the operating system. So in case uh, uh, this this is going for Mac, uh, where is it? In case this is going for Mac, I have to go by Mac 10.6 Intel or just Mac 10.686 by 84. I think this is the Mac version, the minimum version that it can take. And then Linus, you have mini Linus 1x86, and then they have mini Linus. 2010 2014 uh, I think uh, you should really stick to to make it quite global if you you, you are not finding issues installing it on you know machines that are later than any dates like you're not having issues installing on machines that are later um, earlier than 2014 then maybe you should go with the mini Linus one so that's the main name convention and then Mac I'm sure you know why we have Intel and non Intel you should so these are the name conventions for Mac you should go with one so and when you go with it 
like for instance win32 and amd64 my machine is amd64 it supports win32 for when i download an edo easy but when i'm downloading an edo field it doesn't support a win32 okay so when i'm downloading an edo easy and it sees a win32 it's not going to install it's going to go look for a win amd64 that's the thing about this naming convention so you have to be careful and it's that simple you want it on that operating system you go you change the any to that to the name of the operating system like this and it's that simple look look at the error we now have and make sure you don't have any errors it's reading them this is the distro name this is the version number including the build number we don't have a build number it doesn't have a problem when we have the hyphen then we are going for something differently so distro name hyphen build version hyphen python version hyphen I think the C Python version and then hyphen the printing system name. It can be none here and any here. But then if you go in specific, then you write them. It's as simple as changing the name. And then later you can actually gather all of them uh, into a disk folder. Yeah. Okay, you can gather the one from Windows. Uh -huh. So you gather all of them into a disk folder and then. You know, you actually twine upload them, right? Like you would, right? So I, I don't have internet connection. Twine upload, like we do, yeah, like we do, and then you add, you, you upload all of them. But concerning your, uh, your source, your source, you can only upload one. So we're having different versions for the wheel, Mac, Win, Linux, and maybe Linux. But for your source, you can only have one. So. It will always be Python, I mean, the distro name, the version, and then tar.gz. That means you have to find a way you can you, 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 you can build your source. Because then when a person doesn't have a distro, it will go looking for the source to build it from scratch. That means the source will have to be bigger. And that's a problem. The maximum size limit for a source is 60 megabytes. But this thing it has very huge conversion, the tar.gz uh, the GZ and the, the hill. I'm sure it's using the same other gz it actually that's really great conversion a file like 200 megabyte or something like that can be converted into something like 60 megabytes okay so you have to find a way to you know compile all the codes all the binaries for mac and linus into another uh project and you know use if a statement for the binary even though they are binaries of course you can do if if if, if your statement to include binaries so that you can build a source and that would be very huge okay so the source would be very huge but then the ma maximum size limit for PyPI for anything for the source and the dot here will be 60 megabyte okay so you have to you know also take precaution so that'll be all see you in the next lesson